M0 FXB. So it's, I think it's the last video now on the Omni Rig uh, software. So this one is version 2.1, which is the latest software, and it says, I'm pleased to offer you Omni Rig 2.1 new features, supports up to four rigs. You can name the tabs of your rigs with your own text. Minimum polling interval is now 20 milliseconds instead of 100. And it goes on and on. And thanks very much as well. Thanks for to HB9 Romeo Yankee Zulu. So um, what is OmniRig? I'm, I've said this before. It, I think I'm learning as I go. But basically, it allows, it's a program that allows you that when you change the frequency on your radio, you change it on this program called OmniRig. Uh, and I'll show you what that looks like. And why, well, why have that? Well, it means that if you're using, a, say, like an SDR, like a HD SDR, uh, software full screen but you haven't got uh, an SDR dongle um, you can feed your frequency uh, and your and your scope and your waterfall signal into the HD into the HD SDR and then all you've got to do then is pipe in the audio from the same radio and you can use do that using the line in so you select line in on your SDR uh, you've already, then you get your SDR to connect to OmniRig, which is on a, a, a put on its own port. And hey, presto, no SDR. You've got a full screen on your PC and the radio all controlled. So let me just quickly show you how to do it. It's actually very straightforward. Just go to the link here, which I put in the description. Go down to download and just download it like so. And I've already run it, of course, but I'm, I'm still going to do it. Look, you've got install. Double click Omni Rig, yeah, install that. I'm not going to run it twice. And there's another bit here for new transceivers. Now, you don't, I don't think at the, when you first do this, you need this. Um, but you run it and it adds all the extra transceivers that are, you know, that are available, uh, the, new, the newer transceivers. Right, okay, so what do you end up with? You end up with three windows. So you've got one, two, three. Now, the, the one I op always, always have opened up first is this one at the bottom, green with a little brown circle. So you click that, and you end up with, well, see the way it's loading up now? It loads all that you see. It's loading all the different radios. There you are, and you've got this window here. Now, you do need to make selections here. So right-click your device manager. Now you need to make sure that whichever radio you've, you've selected, that you've downloaded the driver and not connected the cable yet until you've downloaded the driver. Then connect the cable, right? Then go to your ports and then whichever radio you've got. Now on here at the moment, we've got the, I the Ixigu X6100. You can see it in the background. On It's on COM8 and I've gone right click properties port and I've put 19200. I'm not saying that's the best one, but that's the one I've put in. Click OK. So we know that number, the board rate, and we know that it's COM8, okay? So here's this thing here. We're going to put all this here. And like they say, it says we can name it. So we go X6100, okay? Um, we've selected rig type ICOM718 because that's the one that works. Although I do think that the frequency is out because of it. So I'm going to speak to someone about that. But anyway, we, we can OK that. We don't have to keep it on the screen. Um, the next thing you do is open up one of these. Now, this one's connected already. Now, I noticed that there are two. I'm not really 100% why that there are two. Do we need two? Not really sure. Um, anyway, so now, what you do then is click Open Dialog, and it will reopen the window that we had open before. Where is it? This one here. And just when you click that, you make sure you've put those settings in that we just discussed. Board right here, look. I, haven't re I don't touch this. If there's a reason why I should, someone tell me. Um, and now, look here. Look at this. See where it says frequency. And also, look at my radio. Look at the radio. And as I change the frequency, it's changing. You see all the text coming down. That's just it working, look. But we've now got OmniRig connected to this Zygu radio. But obviously, there are hundreds of radios that they've... Well, maybe I'm ag exaggerating with 100, but... There are a lot of radios, and here are some of them listed at the bottom of the screen. Um, so Flex, Kenwood, uh, Yesu, all these Yesus. I'm trying to think if I got one of these. I'd, I've definitely got the 7300 and the 705. 
So there's all your ICOM stuff. So look, even like a 756 Pro, you want to have a big full screen HD SDR, you can do it for free with this program. Even a 70, look, look at this, 706 Mark II. Yeah, so you, you're going to have a modern look to your radio thanks to a free program called OmniRig, yeah? So I definitely think check it out. And then HD, HD SDR, so we'll go HD SDR, um, like so. This is where you download that. I'll put a link. Now, my HD SDR, I will fire it up just for fun. But this video is more just about showing you how to connect OmniRig. So you'll get this error because there's no dongle. We know that. And then what you do is to, to connect it or you hit options here. Now, sometimes you might have to reboot, but you just go options, cat. Well, it's saying online already, look. But if it wasn't, you go here. It might say rig not responding or rig not online. Click it. If it doesn't work straight away, reboot a couple of times. But this one's worked out the box this time, first time today. Um, so it's already connected. So it's already receiving everything from my from my radio. Now, if you notice that the frequencies at this time are oh, now that I've just turned it, they've started to sync now. Look, so I'm turning the radio, and then let's just talk about the sound input. You select the sound input here. So. You know, you've got to decide how you're going to do it. If there's a, I, this one's got an IQ out. But I think you could use an audio out, I think. Um, but I'm told that on the Zygu you need the IQ out, and I've used that and plugged it in, and then you select it in these settings. And I don't actually use HD SDR, so all, all these different things that you can do with the scope and all that, you know, um, you can play around with, look, the scopes there, waterfall, it's all sorts of stuff here. So I just like getting things working and then I move on. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe and catch you on out. All the links will be in this description. 7-3, all the best.